Take three, because I did the whole videotape and guess what? Nothing got taped. But we did make our mandala using crayon. So this is how it looks in crayon. And I'm going to do it again, since I didn't get any of it on tape, on the paper plate. So this time I'm going to use markers. Okay, so I'm going to switch us to the full screen because I want you to have a full look of the entire piece instead of just looking at me and my background. And yes, behind me is one of my paintings. It's eight by 10 feet. It's called a color field. So pretty much the whole wall is this gigantic painting behind me. And of course I got Umberto and I got Frida Kahlo hanging, me, hanging out with me today. All right, so here we go. Moving on to try number three with marker. All right, so again, we have a circle. Mandalas are always in a circle and they just use a very calming, repetitive pattern. So I've got my markers, I pulled them out. Now these are just the regular markers that you guys have. This is Crazy Art and I have some Crayola. They seem to do better on this surface than say a Sharpie. The Sharpie and the wax coating don't seem to do as well. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So I'm gonna start, I put a little dot in the center and I think this time I'm just going to make some lines like I did a T and then I'm gonna make my diagonal lines of an X, giving us a starting point, okay? And so I can go ahead and um, try to make this work for me. I'm just doing some curved lines. Again, sometimes we make an, a mistake or an accident. We just have to kind of work through it. I have no idea what I'm doing. So this doesn't look exactly perfect, but you know what? That happens to all of us, even me. So we want to make sure that when we're working, we don't get too frustrated. Um, we're all learning, so we don't have to be perfect at this. Um, I want you to make just make sure you're having fun. So I'm going to add some circles. Those are a nice, easy shape. I'm going to add one on top here so I have more circles. Now, in the end, if you want to color these in, you're more than welcome to. I'm just looking at you getting the drawing part done. Usually when we do our projects, we draw our lines in marker and we color in with crayon just because it's easier for me to see your lines. Okay, I'm going to do like a zigzag line around this, my circles. But again, I'm working in a circle so I can turn my plate around and get everything where I want it. Remember, it's not nailed to the table. Okay, so we want to just make sure, again, you're having fun. And let's see, I think I'm going to add some hearts. Again, I'm going to turn with the paper plate so that I'm putting it in my V shape. Now, you can copy what I'm doing or you can do your own pattern, your own design. Just remember that we do not want it to be very big. I mean, as far as your pattern, I don't want to see just one gigantic heart in the center and say, Oh, I'm done. Because no, we want to see lots of patterns, um, mandalas and zentangles. It's supposed to be calming and I enjoy doing it. So, you know, hopefully you enjoy making these as well. And I'm going for my marker and I'm just going to come here. I'm going to go around. And the whole purpose is to fill all the way out to the edges. That way you have the opportunity to really understand and do your work. So we're doing the circle. So to see how it's already starting to blossom and go out to the edges. So that's what we're gonna be doing here. So let me see, I'm going to do one swirl this way, one swirl that way. And again, like I said, I'm making this up as I go. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. And that's the fun part. Each time you do it, it can be a little different. 
uh, no two are alike. And I don't want us to all have exactly the same. That's not fun. What's fun is making it unique to you and enjoying what you're doing. So I've got this going here. And we're gonna go around. And as you can see, I'm almost getting to the outside edges of my paint. And that'll be good. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do this color. Did I do this color? I don't know if I did this color. Okay, I'm going to add some little, looks like it's almost a flower. Little sprigs off the center of my little whirly gigs there. Hopefully you like this. But I'm hope I'm gonna look forward to seeing everybody else's. So we're doing this around again. All the way around. Yep. We're getting there. My dog is over there in the corner scratching to get in the kitchen because everybody knows I'm taping this right now, so we have to be quiet. But dogs don't necessarily listen to me. They have a mind of their own. So we just kind of work with them too. Right now that would be Sapphire, who's just the only one left out here with me. There we go, doesn't that look pretty? So you do that and then you go up here. Now remember, you've got your these uh, ridges if you have this type of paper plate and you can work it into your pattern or you can go ahead and uh, create something else on top of it. So this is how you do it with the magic marker. Okay, so hopefully this helped you out as well. I look forward to seeing your artwork.